We'll move on to public communication. You're welcome and encouraged to participate in this meeting. Public comment is taken on items listed on the agenda when they're called. Public comment on items not listed on the agenda will be heard under item number nine, uh, appearance of interested citizens. Comments on controversial items may be limited and large groups are encouraged to select representatives to express the opinions of the group. Written requests, members of the public submitting written requests at least 24 hours prior to the meeting will be normally allotted five minutes to speak. Do we have any written requests? Yes, we received a request from Mr. Bob Renton. All right, Mr. Renton, you now have five minutes or like last time, 6.7 minutes if necessary. Yeah. I hope I get, get it right now. Um, Carol, this is for the um, council's passing around to the council's um, review and reference so that they would understand what I'm referring to. My name is Bob Renton, um, Hun Road. I have a property interest near Hun Road. Um, and I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak here tonight. Um, first, I will admit any errors that um, might occur in my previous statements if they are indeed proved, um, proved to be wrong. And anything I did say um, was honest uh, interpretation of news articles and people's, uh, people's statements that I respected and reliable people. Now, um, Mayor Buckland indicated the annexation area is getting Yuba City Fire Service and Yuba City is paying for it. Um, that sounds to me, and if I misunderstood, I apologize, it sounds to me like the area is getting free fire service. So hopefully I don't think he, he really meant to say it that way. Um, that appears to be partly correct in that, um, according to a memo from Chief Daly, um, it's about a 17% uh, uh, reimbursement shortfall. Now, um, um, and this uh, reimbursement rate from the county is causing about $135,000 in, in shortfall. I, um, I think Yuba City can Ill, Ill afford that uh, with a projected budget deficit through to 20, 2017. Um, and I actually see some plans to use pension debt trust funds to cover that deficit. I would suggest that you should re renegotiate with the county to um, to clear up that mismatch, and you're, therefore you would be made whole by the county. Um, frankly, overall, I don't see how Yuba City can afford this annexation at all. Um, news reports indicate a startup cost of more than a million dollars uh, involved with the uh, police services for this annexation, and an extra cost of about three hundred thousand dollars annually. So, um, well, moving on, um, Mayor Buckland also said that uh, we drive to our residences on city streets maintained by the city, and I believe that's a fair representation of his statement. Um, now, actually, many residents can drive to their, um, on, on Highway 99 and enter their property while staying on county roads. Um, I do know that when I go to my Hun Road property, um, I stay on, on county roads. It's uh, Highway 99, Hun Road, and I'm there. Um, regardless, many of these um, those current city streets were county roads before the areas were annexed. So I see this um, this whole subject as confusing. Now, uh, <clears throat> again, moving on, um, Councilman Ga Kil Gash, excuse me, I'm sorry, Councilman Cash Gill indicated in two council meetings that um, this annexation process is something that will allow the um, proposed annexation area residents to get a vote. Um, that's a loose interpretation, not word for word. And I hope that's a fair statement. Um, he did not mention any conditions or qualify that statement. Actually, there is only one way to give residents a vote. And that is if opposition volunteers such as myself pound the pavement, getting 500 signatures on a petition. It was Darren Gale who explained how the vote could happen, but that was 11 agenda items later in the second meeting. If we obtain more than 1,000 signatures, and we almost did that, 
uh, 12 years ago. We came very close to killing the whole annexation process right then. If we obtain more than a thousand signatures, there is no vote. If we fail to get 500 signatures, then there is no vote, and Yuba City rolls over us. We will look like a frog smashed in the road. So I find Cash Gill's uh, statement misleading. I would like to echo Mike uh, Buzdas' statement in the last meeting and say that I prefer the sheriff's deputies over Yuba City Police. Mike had called Yuba City Police about drug activity in the church parking lot inside city limits. No response, so we called the sheriff and they arrived. Perhaps it was just a busy night for the uh, Yuba City PD. I personally am deeply disturbed by some PD officer conduct when I viewed the second trial of Lionel Patterson. I heard and saw all the evidence in the entire trial and he was acquitted. However, a woman was killed in her own driveway, in own doorway by Yuba City Police. I think that was unavoidable. Or excuse thank, me, unavoidable. thank you very much, Mr. Renton. Your time has expired. Yes, thank you very much. All right. That uh, concludes our written requests.